Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Jeff Quinton at thequintongroup.tv. Yes, I'm your host, Jeff Quinton, and today I'm with Kevin Braun, our loan officer at Tri-State Lending Group, also affiliated with EMM Loans and an absolute expert uh, in the mortgage business. So Kevin, we talked about a little bit earlier in our team meeting. Um, just share everybody, what is going on with rates? Do we expect them to go up in the short term, go down in the long term? Just give an overall Two second, you know, thought about yep. rates. Well, thanks for having me, Jeff. Um, sure. Rates right now, they're talking about the Fed's coming out tomorrow. It likely will raise the rates another three quarters of a point, which will, um, and depending on the news that comes out with it, if they're going to do further rates, we'll move rates up a little bit. They have already moved in to absorb that 0.75, so rates are right now around seven, seven and a quarter. They did come down the last two weeks. Hopefully, they continue that trend as the bond market kind of loosens up. So rates are still in a, a good spot from where you know they were two, three weeks ago, and a few months ago. Um, I see them. You know, they should hold still and holding that seven percent mark for a little while, and then the first quarter of next year, second quarter of next year, drop back down to hopefully you know that five, five and a half percent rate mark. So you think that we'll probably level out somewhere back to back to a normal five, five and a half percent? Which, by the way. We look at the past, you know, twenty years. I mean, five, five and a half. That's still a very, very good low interest rate. I mean, I know, I know. Back, well, geez, I guess in the last ten years, you know, that well, the three, four percent rate was just unheard of, right? Yep. But five, six, seven percent—that's a normal rate when you look at the past 25, 30 years. It is. It is. The banks have a cost of lending money. The the, the cost was taken out um, through the the Fed lowering the rates over the last five years. And, and plus, and then now they're pulling back on that, so it's bringing it back to a normal where it was before. Everybody looks at the last three, four, five years as where rates are. Um, that's not where rates need to be for a healthy market. They're going to back to a healthy market. Um, as people get used to it, it'll be the norm. And houses, people have to buy houses. People are going to sell houses. People are going to refinance. And as they get through that, it'll become a normal rate, and we'll move the market forward. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. You talk about you know, what's normal. That's we're going back to normal times. Those two and a half, two and three quarter, three percent rates. That was just unheard of, right? That's like not normal. So it's interesting. So <clears throat> some of the programs that you have, I know you have some pretty incredible programs that are out there right now to make it more affordable. Share one or two of those that you're working with, whether it's a primary home buyer, second home buyer, to make somebody want to buy. How I mean, is it yeah. is, is it is it an adjustable rate loan right now for somebody that's you know on a second home that wants to get cash flow and and only going to say they they're going to they want to only maybe own it less than ten years or. or yep. Tell us well, about you can that. you can absolutely use adjustable rates. Adjustable mm -hmm. rates are going to give you a fixed period of time until rates normal come back down to where they should be. So it'll get you from here to to then. Like uh, a two one buy down, right? Yep, the two one buy down is is you're basically prepaying the payments the interest for the next two years. Uh, the the first year being two two percent less. Uh, so if we're seven percent market, you're gonna be a five percent, six percent the second year. All right. So let me make sure it's straight. Two one buy down. If I bought a home today, my first year is going to be five percent. Yes. Yep. And the second year be six percent. Okay, yep. so much less than today. And if 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 we all had a crystal ball, which we don't, but let's assume that what we think by maybe spring things could level off and we'll be at five, five and a half anyway. And at that point, you can obviously choose to. We would when we do loans, we're offering to refinance people at no cost from the lender into that rate. So you're they telling me. So you're telling me that if somebody today gets a loan with you, and then. A year from now, rates cool off for six months or whatever it is. Let's say you get in locked in today or whatever, it's 7%, and they go to 5%. You'll refinance them. Yep. I'll refinance them and waive our bank fees. Yes. So all the bank fees. Yep. No cost. There's going to be total. I mean, well, right. we do a total. Cost and like but as far as the bank fees, as far as your costs are concerned, yep. refinance for free, basically, Absolutely. and get in, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. Okay, okay. so 2 one buy down uh, that there. Tell us about the, the primary home. Uh, borrower, I know you have a program with a condo. Could be a multifamily, could be single with the with the uh, the credit back. 50%. So, this, this yep, is a lot of people are getting pinched by rates or in <laughs> the, the rate of rent going up. Uh, rent has increased a lot. People want to buy homes. The state of New Jersey has a, a full time home buyer bond program that we take part in, and it's it was ten thousand dollars. They're raising it to fifteen thousand dollars that they'll give you as it goes on as a second lien. It's forgivable. There's no payments towards it. It is for first time home buyers. You you cannot have owned a home in the last three years, and you can qualify for that at you know today's rates. You you could go buy a home without money out of pocket. So we can negotiate a seller assist. We can talk about you get the ten thousand, fifteen thousand dollars, and it'll get you out of renting into a home. 
There's never, in my opinion, a bad time to buy a home because homes are always going to appreciate in value over time. So they may take, you know, ebbs and flows and go up and down, but over time they will be, they're always worth Yeah, I mean, I always say to everybody here, like, well, you know, when's the best time to buy? Well, let me ask you a question. If you bought 10 years ago, would you regret it? Well, were values less 10 years ago than they are today? They were. Yeah. 10 years before that, were they less or higher? Or less. I mean, you go back in history every 10 years, right? Go back 20 years ago. You're telling me 20 years ago property values were, were more than they are now? No, they've always been less. So it's not it's not about you know you know it's it's not about you know wait and buy real estate. It's buy real estate then wait because yes. over time it's going to appreciate. So you have a program right now for renters. They can get it with no money down, fifteen thousand dollars as a, as assist or back from the government. Mm -hmm. Primary home could be a condo, could be multifamily. You mentioned before, right? Yeah. Where they occupy one but they get the credit of all the units. Multi, by the way, multifamily. Right? Any any buyer that's out there, a renter that wants to occupy one unit and have two other units help offset the mortgage, they can get it with no money down. Actually, get fifteen thousand dollars back from the seller. Right? Yeah, you can get money as seller assist, seller assist, assist and then the state grant will help you pay. <clears throat> so there's so many ways to get into buying real estate right now. That's that that's become more affordable than ever. Absolutely. And you know the other thing we're talking about right now, the the great benefits of buying. Yes, rates are a little bit higher. Not that big of a deal. I mean, you look at a, a 4% rate versus a 7% rate, you know, on, on a $100,000 loan, or if you're going to finance $500,000 loan, maybe, you know, on a $500,000, maybe it's what, 400 bucks more a month. So it seems like, Kevin, you have a lot of options right now. The yeah. affordability rates, you're going to, your company's willing to refinance for your costs for free. Um, you know, there's just a lot. There's, there's, I mean, look, if I'm looking to buy, I'm not so much concerned about the rates, right? Because I know that at some point we're going to be able to refinance, and my payment's going to come back down. I'm not going to. It's not going to stop me from not going to buy, especially if I'm going to buy something for long term. Because I know the appreciation is going to outgrow that little additional hundred dollar, two hundred dollar, three hundred dollar more a month of payment. Yeah, absolutely. not that big of a deal. So, um, great information. How does someone call you to get pre qualified to find out? about your products, give them your, uh, your contact information. They can reach me at 856-366-0944 or at kbraun, B-R-A-U-N, at tristatelending.com. Awesome. Cool. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for today. And uh, anything else you need, thinking about getting your home on the market, selling, buying, investing, reach me, jeff at thequintongroup.com. Thanks for watching.